Well, good morning and welcome back. So today, Tina and I are carving pumpkins. We're doing it the way where, you know, you go to the store, you get the stencil out here, you poke the holes and you try to get a creation. So this is one of the steps right here. Tina's coming back with some knives. But while we are up here doing our uh, pumpkin carving, we are going to speak with an expert pumpkin carver from Elk Grove, everybody. Please say hello to Mr. Alex Wurr. Good morning, also known hey, as the Pumpkin Hey, good morning, Geek. guys. How are you guys doing? <laughs> We are doing pretty, pretty well. So you've been on the show many, many times. About 11 years ago, you made your first appearance. Tell us about That's your true. pumpkins because they last forever, right? Tell us about that. Yeah. Um, you know, I just kind of started getting obsessed with ca pumpkin carving uh, 10, 12 years ago. <clears throat> and my wife's company was having an event. I ended up carving the logo for... Uh, for the event, and I ended up getting 35 orders that night from other wow. people who wanted their logos, their Look kids, oh, their favorite musicians, Ooh. like that one of uh, of you two and and Kiss. That was one person that ordered all four of those pumpkins at once. Um, pretty much anything is all custom. The pumpkins, as you mentioned, are artificial. I'm gonna hold one up right here that you can probably see when once you get back over into me, but. Um, I get them at Michael's uh, craft store. Oh, yeah, That's my display at, at Comic Cons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I actually quit my job about four and a half years ago, and I traveled to around 20 cities across the country, um, having my display and um, and selling custom orders of whatever people want. Awesome. Now you are using what type of tools are you using to carve your pumpkins? Because it's not your typical, you know, knife and serrated knife, correct? No, it's it's not. It's um it's uh they're Dremels, which are handheld drills. Um, you can actually use them on um organic real pumpkins, which I know you and Tina are, are doing a pumpkin carving contest. It'll save your fingers a lot of pain if you end up getting them. Like I said, they're handheld drills. They're called Dremels. I uh, have that a Dremel. Be the brand name. Um, oh. it's basically a handheld drill, and you can poke the holes in the traditional way, then take the paper off, and then use the drill to actually do the cutting for you. Oh. It'll save you a lot oh. of time. Now you tell us. The beat. We <laughs> missed the beat. Yeah, a quick question. What was the most challenging uh, carving that you've ever had, and what is the most well-known or requested uh, carvings that you've um, done? The hardest one, and I've done it multiple, multiple times, because it's become a popular one, is there's a Star Wars um, battle scene. Um, with uh, an Imperial uh, ship and uh, X-Wing fighters and, and the TIE fighters all in space. Um, that's a pretty intricate one. And then mm -hmm. one of my most popular one in the last couple of years, uh, that's the Star Wars one. Oh, wow. Um, Look at that. How long did yeah, that take Yeah, there's the explosions and the moon in the back, and then you can see the Imperial ships in the back and everything. Just getting all the fine details, you know, it looks like a bunch of chicken scratch when the lights are not on. So it's, it's an odd thing to look at. Uh, and then one of the most requested in the past couple of years has been the um, Hogwarts ah, crest. Hogwarts. Um, I get a lot of people who are huge Harry Potter fans yeah. and the family wants to order something Harry Potter, but you have people that are from different houses within the house. They're like, well, I'm a, you know, I'm a Gryffindor, I'm a Slytherin, and so they order the crest, uh, and that makes everybody happy. Uh, yes, I bet. Now, you are actually taking orders for uh, pumpkin carvings. Today will be the last day, right? So tell everyone, you know, what the price range is and how they can order a pumpkin from the... Yeah, so pumpkin. you can reach me at, um, it's up there, um, Alex pumpkingeek at gmail.com. That's the best way. Today's the last day I'm taking orders. Okay. Again, well, the how pumpkins much are, are artificial, how much do you so they normally last charge? and everything's custom. Um, usually my price range is around 175 to 225 is, is pretty typical, and that includes shipping and the light. Um, depends on if you're, you know, uh, out of the country, which yeah. I've shipped to about nine different countries, uh, the price goes up a little bit. But that's yeah. kind of the basic price range, 175 right. to 225. And all again, right. it does last forever. It does last forever, and you do it all custom create it yourself. All right, so we are only on basically step two in our pumpkin carving, Alex. So <laughs> we're using the real pumpkins. We know no, the, the no way to ones. judge this. It won't look like you, yours. But You uh, got a little ways to go there, Jordan. I think you know <laughs> you're ways. about 15% finished. Probably, yeah. probably. But uh, we thank you so much again. The Pumpkin Geek, Alex. Yay, uh, we're nice to see you again. If you like Not your a pumpkin, you have the information right October there be safe. on All the right. screen there to get your, your forever pumpkin. So. All you. right, we're well, working on ours. We'll be right back. Yeah. All right, here we go. I got one one spider leg tea.